everyone, I'm Adriana and today with Leonardo we bring to you an interesting case about an iPhone 11 Pro. Our client took his phone to another technical service where they told him that the touchscreen doesn't work properly at times and after using it for a while the screen completely lost its image. We start our diagnosis. First, we connect the charger to check if it's charged. For now, there is no image on the screen. We are going to check the current consumption with the Power Z tool. The Power Z shows a consumption of 1 ampere. This tool is essential in any electronics workshop. If you want to get one, I'll leave you the purchase link in the description of this video. We proceed to disassemble the device and do our first visual inspection. This is how we work with all the devices. First we check the charge and consumption, then we disassemble the device and finally we perform a visual inspection. Once the device is open, we remove the two screws and the metal sheet. Now we disconnect the battery connector, a crucial step to avoid short circuit on the motherboard. Next, we disconnect the screen connectors. Remember that the client mentioned us that the touch screen stopped working correctly. To perform an effective repair, we need to gather all the information provided by the client, asking him how the failure occurred. Next, we inspect the touch connector. Pay attention to this area. A pin is broken and has damaged the screen. Now everything fits perfectly. The impact caused a crack in the pin, which was gradually burning out. Now we've got two options to solve this problem. The first is to replace the FPC connector with a new one and the second to replace a new pin. I have used this method before with success so I'll show it to you. First, we carefully remove the broken pin using the blade number 11 of the scalpel. Then, we take a new pin from another iPhone connector to place it in its position. Carefully, we fit and press the new pin in its place. It requires a bit of experience, so practice before trying it on functional devices. To ensure it works correctly, we connect and disconnect the screen connector two or three times. If the pin stays firm in its place, we continue with the assembly process. This method is ideal when we don't have available new spare parts.
Next, I'll show you the adhesive we use in our workshop and why is our number one choice. We trust in B7000, a high-performance adhesive that has accumulated over 18,000 total sales and just in the last month over 3,000 sales. In the description of this video, I will leave you the purchase link. Now, let's continue with our tutorial. Using a tester, we measure the pins to verify if the impedances is corrected in the repaired pin. We can see that the pin has regained its impedance. Now all that remains is to assemble the device and to perform the necessary tests. We observe a proper charge of 2.46 amperes. Finally, our device has recovered its touch function after meticulous precision work. Guys, thanks for watching. He is Leonardo. We hope you find this video useful and see you in the next one. Bye bye.